I'm Lucy Baines Johnson, Lyndon Johnson's youngest daughter, and I am thrilled beyond telling to be a part of the Celebrating Your Hometown project, because indeed celebrating your hometown was what Lyndon Johnson spent a lifetime doing. He did because he felt that his hometown had shaped him and made him the man that he was, and he was forever grateful to his friends and neighbors. Indeed, during the presidency, uh, my father would say, uh, the hill country of Texas was a place when you, they know when you're sick and they care when you die. And I'm going back to the hill country because three days in the hill country will do more for me than three weeks in the Caribbean might do for you. And do it he did. Indeed, uh, from his early days as a young high school student, when he went to California to seek his fortune, he figured out he had to come back to Texas to get his education so he could get one. Later on, he went to South Texas to teach because he had to earn enough money to go to school. And he founded a Mexican school that many of the students didn't have any of the basic rights that he did. So therefore, his life was dedicated to social justice, it's dedicated to education. Indeed, when he was privileged to have the opportunity of a lifetime working with his hero, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, he was able to bring electricity to his friends and neighbors. Nothing could have meant more to him to bring that basic right and nothing could have meant more to my mother and sister and me to have his friends and neighbors telling him all the years since just how much it meant to them. Finally, his commitment to Medicare and Medicaid, that too came through friends and neighbors who had to make hard choices to educate their children or to take care of their elderly parents. So celebrating your hometown was what Lyndon Johnson spent his lifetime doing. And in this day and time, when so many of us are separated by political differences that cause angst and hurts and fallouts, I hope that more of us can come, as Lyndon Johnson used to say, and reason together in the words of Isaiah, recognizing that we need to get to know our neighbors because they bleed the same blood, red blood we do, and they cry the same wet tears. Maybe if we all spent more time celebrating our hometowns, we'd be, have more to celebrate in life.